uh hi guys how are you so today our topic of discussion is it's very simple e to me installation if you guys go to google and uh, try to search buying this theme it's very difficult to install this theme actually so what we have to do i will make it easy for you guys in just a small simple step once you are downloading edomi from moodle you will be seeing these files these three files demo file sql file and moodle data these three files will be there so demo files sql file databases and moodle data so i came here to my domain and i have created a subdomain with the name of e to me i will call it a bit up you can see here e to me dot litpanel.net so what i have done here i have uploaded here demo files first of all you have to upload the demo files on your server so i have uploaded one zip file here and let me extract it so that's our first step we have to upload our demo files to our server so it's uploaded and extracted so it's here with the demo files folder we need to move it to the back side little bit we will select all we will select move we are bringing this one out of the folder all right so we select the demo file folder here and i will delete that one because it's empty now so i don't need this one so that's our first step second step is moodle data we need to upload this folder to our root root folder in the c panel i will go back this is called our root here nothing and you can see here all domains public html file there as well so this is called a root so i will upload this root this folder moodle data on this folder first of all if you can see here it's on my root folder there is a name moodle data already so i need to change this name first of all in case if you don't have then you can no need for this one let me make it like e to me e to me data now i am uploading this one to root that's our second step it's uploaded with the name e to me root where is that So it's e to me data is here. So I will extract this one as well. Make it so that was our second step. We have uploaded this one as well. I will check if I have not given the name properly. Remove it. That's the data. So 
first is edomi this is our subdomain data this is edomi data now i will go back to my c panel this c panel same dashboard in almost every single c panels almost same dashboard i have to create here one data this file mysql databases so we'll create a database file with the name of edomi fine you guys can save these names So that's our second step. First, we have loaded the demo files. Second, we have loaded the demo data, edomi data. And now third step is to create the databases. So databases is created. Now we have to create a user for this databases. That's the username. So first is the key database name, second is username, and that's the password. I will go back to my C panel again. Now here there is a SQL file. We need to upload that one the user we have created this database is lead panel underscore e to me i will come here to my php my admin and here we have created this lead panel e to me it's the same name lead panel e to me I will come here import and I am creating a data uploading the database so here is the database select and then simply go it will take around 4 to 5 minutes to upload because it's a huge file around 52 MB Meanwhile, we will come here in our domain, the demo files, these demo files, and we will check here, there will be a file config, it's a configuration file. So here is a config.php, we will edit this one. You can see here db type it's mentioned db library db host db name so here db name we have to change with our db this is our db we will get db name to the user as well so Um, root folder and data root folder so root folder and data root folder I will show you so this is my website name copy this one and that's my website name okay. now data root folder 
data root folder we have renamed it with e to me data if you guys remember just now in meanwhile database is uploaded as well now if you guys are going to open the link this one will not work I will show you what is the issue there here data root is not configured properly so it's not data root the data root we will come here again I mean we will see here this is called data let configure properly it's telling that backslash bar backslash ww backslash e data we will try to check it out why it's not working you can see here it's mentioned e data and here it's modal data because this data should not be here so first of all we need to select all move to e data Go back, you guys can still showing data root is not configured properly. So we can check why this error is showing. You do me data and everything is fine. But it's mentioned backslash home lit panel this one home one lit panel and then this is e to me data if i go back it's showing backslash home one lit panel and then e to me data so our data root is not fine so we have to write it down first of all backslash the data root it's a very simple solution go back to your C panel and you will come to MySQL data Here add user to database. We have not assigned user to database. Search here lit panel e to me. That's the user and database name is lit panel e to me. Now we are adding this one. And all privileges click should be done and make changes. So simply refresh the page and installation is done. All right. So it was very easy to install Edomi data, Edomi installation, with the cPanel. It's just in three steps and only uh, 10 minutes work. Let it be shown. Okay, done. And last step is the login. A universal password you guys can change it later on for all e me themes complete theme moodle theme this is the one okay so you guys can do this one very easily 